Um, Dr. Rick, Rick Bright, you know who he is. He was dismissed last month as the director of the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority. Uh, his, his function was to find a cure or a vaccination, I should say, for or, or a cure for this novel coronavirus. Uh, but he pissed off Donald Trump because he's a thousand million times smarter than Trump and was not buying into the bullshit that Trump was putting out uh, about uh, uh, stupid uh, ideas about how to treat this pandemic. Um, he testified yesterday before um, uh, a committee, a House subcommittee, and um, I missed the testimony, and I don't have it in front of me now, but I do have uh, a prequel. Dr. Rick Bright, the Square New York Times whistleblower who said he was removed from his job running a federal research agency after objecting to the widespread use of a bullshit drug that Trump kept touting because he kept hearing about it on the Fox garbage sewer where so much of the problems in the United States arise since Trump's theft of the presidency with his Russian handlers, anything that is said on the garbage shoot of Fox News winds up in Trump's mouth within 24 hours. This, this is unbelievable shit. But th this, is, this is what I think it was Goebbels who said, um, or maybe it was Hitler himself, just keep repeating whatever lie it is and make it big, and eventually uh, the dumb fucks who make up the population will start to believe it as being true. So here we are. Um, anyway, Bright issued a warning on Wednesday before his testimony yesterday. And he, he said he, he issued a warning, and he issued one on, on Thursday when he testified, uh, that, quote, 2020 will be the darkest winter in modern history, end quote, if this country doesn't ramp up its virus response. Now, it's not going to happen under Trump. Trump doesn't give a fuck how many people die. He doesn't. Unless somebody could convince him that dying people would affect his reelection. Then, Trump, being the psychopath that he is, he might respond to that. Uh, he issued that warning uh, in an advanced copy of the testimony he plans to, uh, or he planned to deliver to the House Committee yesterday. And the document was posted on the uh, website um, yesterday. This is part of what Dr. Bright wrote, quote, our window of opportunity is closing if we fail to develop a national coordinated response based in science. I fear the pandemic will get far worse and be prolonged, causing unprecedented illness and fatalities. Jesus Christ. Now, he was also expected to and did tell the members of this House subcommittee yesterday that the Trump administration, quote, dismissed early warning signals and we forgot important pages from our pandemic playbook, end quote, as this virus emerged as a threat first overseas and then working its way here. He also said that his superiors at the Department of Health and Human Services were, quote, dismissive about my predictions, end quote when he pushed the authorities, the, uh, um, the superiors at HHS, he pushed them to ramp up production of masks, respirators, and other critical supplies. They said the bureaucratic equivalent, oh, sit the fuck down, Rick, what's your problem? Now, Dr. Bright made those same allegations in his whistleblower complaint and, of course, the Health and Human Services strongly denied that any of that ever happened. That's also from the Nazi playbook. Deny, deny, deny. It's from the Trump playbook, too. None of this happened. It's all fake. It's all made up. Just keep denying. 
Uh, Caitlin Oakley, a spokeswoman for the Department of Health and Human Services, said in an email last week, quote, this is a personnel matter that is currently under review. However, HHS strongly disagrees with the allegations and characterizations in the complaint from Dr. Bright. End quote. I am a political whore. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, whore in the sense of, you know, whoring, but I'm a political whore. I get paid to say bullshit. I get paid to add to the confusion that this son of a bitch and ape that I work for, uh, Donald Trump, says. So, yes, I'm a political whore. My name is Caitlin. Hi, I'm Caitlin. And anything in Dr. Bright's complaint, uh, we don't agree with. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Because I'm a political whore. Not a whore in the sense of, you know, a sex worker or anything. But I work for the for the ape. And that means I'm a whore, a political whore. Hi, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Office of Special Counsel, the federal agency that is investigating Dr. Bright's complaint, has notified Dr. Bright's lawyers that it has found, quote, reasonable grounds, end quote, that his firing was an act of retaliation. And the Office of Special Counsel has recommended that he be reinstated for 45 days while their inquiry proceeds. And the spokeswoman for the lawyers who are working for Mr. Bright, Dr. Bright, said Health and Human Services has not yet responded to that request. Maybe they can get Caitlin to come out again. Hi. Yes, I'm Caitlin Oakley. I work for the Health and Human Services. I'm a whore. Not a whore like, you know, a sex worker. I'm a political whore. I say whatever the ape that I work for, the orange one, <laughs> snicker, snicker, whatever he wants me to say. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I work. Hey, True Seekers, Mike Malloy here. While you're sheltering in place and practicing safe social behavior, probably catching up on the Malloy cast, remember, we have a new weekly program just for our patron supporters. There are other thank you gifts for your support. Remember, visit MikeMalloy.com and click on the big patron link on the main page. You can't miss it, and we can't do without you.